Hi, I'm Mr. New Jersey, and today I'm going to tell you about New Jersey's official state dinosaur, the Hadrosaurus fulci. In 1838, several large bones were unearthed in the Morrill Pit on the Hopkins family farm in Haddonfield. Not fully understanding what they had found, the family put some bones on display and gave others away to friends. In 1858, paleontologist William Parker Folk from the Philadelphia Academy of Natural Sciences visited Haddonfield and dined with the Hopkins family. When they told him of their two decades old discovery, Folk decided to excavate the remainder of the marl pit, unearthing many more bones. Folk then contacted fellow paleontologist Joseph Leidy. They continued to dig and study the bones, eventually determining that they were the bones of a dinosaur. By the time they'd finished digging, they had the first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton ever discovered. Leidy named the dinosaur Hadrosaurus fulci in recognition of his colleague. In 1868, Joseph Leidy, Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins, and Edward Drinker Cope reconstructed the skeleton, mounting it in the Philadelphia Academy of Natural Sciences. This made the Hadrosaurus fulci the first ever mounted dinosaur skeleton. Today, the skeleton remains in the Academy's research collection, though a cast of it can be seen by the public in the Academy's museum. So, what's left of the discovery to be seen in Haddonfield? A surprising amount, actually. A great way to see it all is to pick up a copy of the Hadrosaurus Fulci Historic Trail pamphlet, which was created in 2010 by Eagle Scout Jacob Peacock. I got my copy at the Haddonfield Historical Society's Greenfield Hall, which is open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and on the first Sunday of the month from 1 to 3 p.m. Greenfield Hall is located at 343 Kings Highway East, Haddonfield, New Jersey, 08033. The roughly three-mile Hadrosaurus Trail has nine stops. The pamphlet provides a description of each, as well as their addresses, walking directions, and a map. Most of the trail is along suburban streets, or in downtown Haddonfield along Kings Highway, which are fine for pedestrians and have sidewalks, though one road on the trail, Hopkins Lane, runs in a forested area that is only partially lined with sidewalks. You may want to rework your route slightly to avoid walking on this road, or you could simply drive it. Most of the sites are now private residences or businesses that had been the homes of Haddonfield paleontologists, natural science organizations, or buildings on the Hopkins farm. Some sites are directly tied to the Hadrosaurus, while others are only tied to natural science research in the Haddonfield area more generally. I won't spoil too many of the details before you go, but there are two stops I want to talk about more. The first is the excavation site itself, located on Maple Avenue. It is a National Historic Landmark named the Hadrosaurus Fulci Lady Site. The locals just call it Hadrosaurus Park. The location was first marked by Eagle Scout Christopher Breeze in 1984, and his family has maintained the park ever since. The park includes a historic marker and a plaque to read, a table full of dinosaur toys for kids to play with, benches, and free parking. You can look down at or walk into the ravine where the bones were dug up. The ravine remains forested and undeveloped. The second site I want to talk about is the Hadrosaurus Fulci sculpture on King's Highway. The sculpture, designed by John Gennati, has been a fixture in downtown Haddonfield since its unveiling in 2003, and is the unofficial symbol of the town. It has several informational plaques to read, and quite a few benches in the lane just behind it, making it an all-around pleasant spot to be. Lastly, I want to say that Haddonfield is a quaint, wonderful small town in its own right, featuring various sculptures and art installations. If you walk the Hadrosaurus Trail or wind up in Haddonfield for any other reason, make sure to take your time and appreciate the town and its artwork. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.